Okay, got a couple of last minute things to uh, point out. Um, the these this constant reflectivity issue that we were having like it does it really just kind of stands out it doesn't make any sense that it's so bright so if you go if you select that and you go to the render settings for that object you can actually change that effect fairly easily by clicking on this little carrot choose edit wall texture and what's creating that brightness is this reflectivity, this glow. So we want it to maybe show up a little bit. We don't want it to be quite so um, quite so bright. So if we click on the edit, you see that it has the brightness at 100%. So if we bring that down, let's say maybe to 40% and say okay. And I already did this on, on my other object let it render. I'm in, I'm in fast render works mode right now just so I can get a, a quicker sense of what the finish is going to be. It'll take a minute. So that's that's actually a pretty good um, suits the overall image a little bit more. Um, so this one let's go in and I changed that one to 30 but I feel like that's just a little bit too dull. And um, just on the off chance you want to try messing around with some of the other textures, this is uh, this dialog box is a way to do that. Um, I'm not going to go through them all right now, but uh, you can definitely change um, textures, change the way they are presented on there, um, just by altering some of these um, some of these menus here. Um, so, but for this one, to take down that constant reflectivity, since it was just a little bit too bright, uh, you can do that by changing the effects on the glow in that particular one. Alright, so I'm going to let this render one last time. Mm, little quality render works. I don't want that to be selected. There we go. Hit escape and it won't select. Um, as while this is rendering here, um, this must be an uh, an update on 2019 because I have discovered that that hitting escape twice really doesn't do anything at all. Um, but it does seem to be pretty ready to go back to the wireframe mode. Um, one other thing is as you're working on this, make sure you're saving often uh, because. It would be horrible for you to be working on this for an hour or more and then all of a sudden your computer crashes because there's just too much information. So anytime that uh, save reminder pops up, go ahead and just save. Don't just don't even necessarily just rely on the backup copy, but definitely save your work as you go so you don't get so you don't lose a lot of work. One of the worst feelings of the, in the world is to be have been working on something for a long time and then all of a sudden it's gone and you have to go back and start from scratch. So save often. Three minutes and 10 seconds later, we have our finished rendering here. You'll notice that I added in a couple more of those spotlight tools so I could add in the beams of light. I always kind of like seeing the beams of light. It just um, somehow makes it feel a little bit more theatrical. And um, I am reasonably happy with how this has finished up, so I'm going to save it. Um, in order to turn this in, I do want you to turn in the Vectorworks file, so save it with your name and um, upload that. Now keep in mind, this is going to be a pretty big file size, and it may take some time for it to upload to Blackboard. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, I also would like you to save just an image file of this. So if you go to File and then go down to Export and then Export Image File, uh, you can either do All Visible Objects or you can choose Draw Marquee. You just have to be a little bit careful when you draw this that you don't go outside of your window because it will um, it will wreak havoc. So I'm going to go and draw this marquee around my scene. That should be sufficient click on that and um, probably want to increase the 
print size. If if it's if there if your print size comes out being as small as this one is, um, I would say go ahead and make that at least 12 inches, um, maybe even I don't know 18, just just so you don't lose any detail in there. And you can save it as a JPEG image would be fine. And when you say okay, now what's going to happen is it's going to essentially uh, re-render once you've figured out um, where to save it here. And it has to re-render everything again. So when you do the marquee and you hit save, you're just going to be sitting there for three more minutes and then it will eventually finish up. Uh, and it should save as a JPEG in your file. All right, if you have any questions, I know this one's kind of a long one. Um, but I think it's good skills to have for everybody. So uh, when you have questions, if something, if I went by something really too fast, or maybe I forgot to say something that, that I might think is obvious but is not, um, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, do the best you can and have a little bit of fun, and I will look forward to seeing your projects.